is November 16th. Uh, it's rifle season here in Southwest Missouri. Um, yes, I'm on private property. I do have orange on, on the outside of the blind, on my blind side. So there should be no one else on this property. But uh, so we've had a pretty rough um, two open, uh, the first two mornings of rifle season. Pouring down rain, opening day. Wind was blowing hard all day yesterday. Did see a buck and two does yesterday, but uh, anyway, here I think this morning I'm gonna try and do a little bit of a rattling sequence. Last time I did, I rattled in that little six point here, uh, but I would really like to see. We got three shooters that I know of. We got Zeus, is just a big nine point. There's a little nine, which isn't that little, and then the big eight that I've had this encounters with the second, the second biggest one is the big eight. So I'd like to see one of those guys poke their heads out here real quick. We'll see if we can get him to, to step out here. We'll hit the black racks, do a couple grunt calls, snore weeds. So, that other hunter that was in here, he uh, did a complete and total circle around me, and I'd say I'm pretty well done with this spot for right now. He, that, to me, is not the proper etiquette when you're hunting public, but, you know, to each their own. And I did make a, an interesting discovery sitting here in my spot here and I know something sticking out of this tree right over there so take a look at this well here she is looks like she's been there just a little while well maybe not still see that's pretty decent mechanical blade it looks like let me see if I can't get it out of there well, as you can see, the insert pulled plum out of her. Man, it's kind of a cool little find. At least it's something for the day, I guess. Hey, everybody. Matt here. Uh, Monday. came to a piece of private um, land a good family friend I know owns. He's got 70 acres. Um, really hilly. Uh, for the most part mountainous looking stuff. Big, big tall haulers and things. Anyway, I said this morning I 
set this morning um, until about 9.30. Uh, no luck, so I'll window slip through early. Um, sorry, I keep pausing. I'm watching this deer die, making sure she doesn't get up and run. Um, anyway, I, uh, I talked to the landowner's son to try to get an idea of you know, where deer move, what time of day, that kind of thing, and uh, he suggested I go over to this other ridge that deer like to bed down there midday. So I did, and uh, I was walking through, I kicked up two bucks out of the brush, it's really, really thick stuff. It's, it's a lot like this. Right up here, and the bucks are bedded in that stuff. Anyway, I kicked up them and kicked up a couple of does, and I came right over here. I was sitting up on top of that ridge, watching this way, and I had two does run down this ridge, and I thought they bolted and took off. Well, then as I came down, I seen that cedar right there, and uh, there was a big rub on it. So I bent down to look at that rub, and when I did. I could hear something stomping up on this hill. And uh, finally she blew, and she took a couple of hops, just enough for me to see what she was. And uh, I don't know, it was maybe 75 yards. Shot her, dropped her. So uh, we're gonna give her just a minute and then we're gonna go get her. Thankfully the truck is literally, I was on my way to the truck to get lunch. And the truck is sitting Right there. So I'm not far at all. Looks like she might be done now. Well, it looks like she's done for. She's pretty. Big Odell. Good deal. Got the right parts. Sweet. The morning's moving along a little bit, but uh, still, still early. So far, no deer have been moved through the area at all. I'm, I'm shocked. It's, it's the best morning of the, of the season so far. Again, I did have those dogs come through earlier, so that might have affected it. But we're setting all day. Here about noon, the wind's supposed to pick up, so I'm gonna check the trail cam and then it'll die back down. But uh, like I said, hopefully here in the next hour, hour and a half, we'll have a big buck down for you. So stay tuned.
this dirty dirty. Booyah. All right, folks. Well, she is not the biggest or the maturest, but she is healthy and uh, definitely need to meet the freezer. Uh, we're big buck hunting today, but we are just talking with the guys earlier about how uh, I think that the uh, doe to buck ratio is so high um, that the, duck, uh, the bucks don't have to work so hard to find a doe. So we all were like, let's, let's kill does. So I got one today and uh, I believe Matt got one here also. So anyway, I'm going to get her up to the field, get her gutted, get back in the ground blind. Got the, uh, the little nine on trail camp pick. Uh, so hopefully we'll get her back get her done in time that I can get back in the ground blind here. So stay tuned with us. All right, so I just got back to uh, where I have phone signal and come to find out Alan just killed a doe as well. So Team Extreme is on the board with two does down today. Thus far, it's 1130 now. I'm heading to the house, gonna hang her up, get her quartered and cut up. Uh, get the meat in the refrigerator and probably eat a sandwich, head back out. I found a spot for tonight that looks pretty good. I may have to go in there and hang a stand. I don't think that they got any stands there, but um, I brought my hang on and my sticks, so about 10, 15 minutes, I'll be up a tree in that area. It looked pretty good, and with it being as windy as it is, it's down in a holler. I think it may, may play out, but I, I'm, I'm getting into the deer. I'm starting to figure it out. Stay with us, we got more to, more to come. All right, guys, got a new plan of attack here going. It's about midday here. These deer are probably bedded down, and if I left the woods earlier, I'm trying to find a different spot and everything like that, and get to looking at our maps that we have going, and uh, it's like, well, I know we're on spot where the deer are, because I've got one there, so. I'm gonna do something crazy here, and I am gonna go back in. The wind is just perfect for this, for me to do a walking stalk in here, and there is nobody here right now. I'm gonna be beating through the bushes, beating through the sticks, trying to get these deer off the bed, and I'm gonna see if something can happen. I can't guarantee the greatest footage right now, but you know, I'll try my best. I may just be running GoPro and it may just be recovery, but the other two kind of got me ramped up. We was chatting back and forth here just an hour ago and uh, you know, it just, that's kind of what we was discovering is these deer were on bed and everything like that. And, and here you go. Here's Alan with a doe and then here you go again. Here's Matt with a doe. So apparently I got to earn my stripes on this one here and it'd be awesome if we could all have a, have a deer today. We'll check it out. Stay with us. Alright folks, well, I'm still going back at it here. It is 1249, so definitely getting into those afternoon hours. Um, so I got that doe gutted, uh, taken back up to the field. Uh, Matt's got his hanging in, his, in the, in the sh uh, shop. <clears throat> Justin has uh, rethought his plan. Good luck to you, Justin. I hope you get something here tonight, buddy. It'd be a crazy trio if we get one, if you get one this afternoon. But anyway, I'm going to uh, go ahead and start getting settled back in for the evening. Uh, hopefully about 3.30 we'll have some, some bucks come through here. And I've got... I got my eye on a couple bucks, so I'm not going to settle for anything. Just anything that comes through here. So anyway, wish me luck. Stay tuned. Zeus or a big another eight that I've never seen. 
but it wasn't the big eight and it wasn't the little nine. I think that was Zeus. A stinking tree was right in my, right in front of the camera. But as he turns away, I, I, I can see where that impact hit, and it's it's in there. Oh my gosh! Contact Rocky. I've contact Matt. Helps on the way. I'm gonna give him a little bit of time. Really wish I would have had the 30 odd six on this one. Holy cow, guys! Man, that was a big buck. I just look. I just look out the window, and there, I don't see. I see nothing but antlers. It was beautiful. Just a beautiful buck. Lord, thank you. Please help us get this deer. It's a monster. It's huge. If this, if this is, if this is, uh, if this is Zeus, man, he's in the 150s. Easy. He's a big buck. All right, we're gonna give him a little bit of time. Wait for the guys to get here. Hopefully, next time we come to you, we'll have our hands on this big guy. Stay tuned. Okay, I am drenched in sweat. 65 degrees, 2.45 p.m. Monday. Um, was Came back after shooting my doe, took her to the house, hung her up, got some lunch, slapped my old lady on the rear end, told her I loved her and jumped back in the truck, got back out of here, walked out the other half of this property to see what it looked like. I narrowed it down to three spots I think that are worth hunting. I was getting ready to, I was actually walking in. I had my bag, I had everything. I was walking into the stand for the evening hunt and uh, my phone started exploding with messages from Alan. Uh, he just smoked a buck known to us as Zeus. Um, he's a big buck. Uh, he needs some help. Um, looks like a good hit, but for tracking and recovery of a buck of that caliber, you don't want to make any mistakes. So, I got out of the woods, jumped in the truck, I'm going to head back to town and go over to the property that Alan is hunting, and uh, hopefully we're going to do a recovery on their number one hit list buck for that property, Zeus. So, stay tuned. All right, guys, Justin here, Ozark Mountain Outdoor Adventures. Uh, I have been hunting all day. I started out in this spot here. Guy kind of blew my hunt down there, you know, which no, har no harm, no foul, it's public ground. And then I went stomping around the woods earlier. Did about three hours of that, turned up nothing. So I'm like, well, surely nobody's back down here in the afternoon hunt since there was no shots this morning who would come back and come back in here went right to my stand and sure enough there's two hunters standing directly below my stand so i gesture at them i'm like you know what hey guys i'll go hunt down here you know and i'm not going to get into some match with anybody over hunting ground that's public you know it's not worth it to me literally i walk from down at that field to this end and right where i was going to set my seat to sit and hunt this kind of heavier wooded area you can kind of see behind me here there this little guy stood and granted he is not great by any means but i'm on the board now it's been a tough season so far and i'm just happy that i've seen something that i can get a shot off at and here he is he's not no wall hanger but you know what he does me just fine it's been an awesome day also right at the time i get this guy Pull out my phone. I'm getting ready to holler at the guys. Hey, hey, I got one. I'm on the board now. And here's Alan saying he put a good drill on another big buck. And 
you know, it's where I'm headed now. I'm not even going to take him to the shed yet. I'm pretty close to where Alan's at, so I'm going to go check and see if he needs a hand. And hopefully he's got one, and if so, that'd be four deer hanging today, and we're doing good. Here we go. We will. He shouldn't have too hard of a time. I don't think he went too far. We've got a pile of deer to clean yeah, tonight. Yeah, we're going to have a skinning party tonight. Rather that than here is a failure. Well, I'll tell you my bow here. If I... so, so tell me the story. So you're sitting in the blind and what? You hear crunch, crunch, crunch and here he no, comes? No, no. I just, you just I, look up and there I he is? I just look up and I just see antlers, man. No just, kidding. Just big freaking antlers. And I was going to let him come out a little bit further, but then the dog scenario played through my mind, so I, I just hit him real quick. Yeah. So I did, I did not want to give him more time to get away. Like 2 o'clock, right? Uh, uh, no, it was around 2.30. 2.30? Yeah. I just went to text him. So he just appeared? He just came out of nowhere, man. Boom, gone. And you're, right, now, you, are you, how sure are you that it's the one you were calling Zeus? I am 95% sure. Is he left in? No, he's a huge eight man. Okay. I mean, he's huge. Yeah, he looked good. He looked okay from the side, but when he turned in that film, I was like, oh. He's a big buck, man. Yeah. He's he's one, he's over 140. He's, he's 150, maybe. Well, here we go. Yeah, let's do it. Now until I get my hands on. Uh. No. Oh God, thank you. You're kidding me, man. No. Yes. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh my God! You got I can't him. believe it. Come on, let's I go get the prize. It. Come on! I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, Rocky's Here. gonna freak out! Give me that. You get over there by that. Get over there by him. Dude, dude, there. Pick him up, man. Look how big he is. Come on, Al. Show him off. Oh, come on now. Oh, Boom! He is a beast. Jeez. Oh, God, he's nice. Look at the neck on this joker. Oh, man. I think he's mad at you. I think so. Wow. Thank you, Lord, for this blessing. Thank you, Lord, for good friends. <clears throat> I wish Rocky could be right here for the recovery. He is at work, was not able to get off in time. We could not wait anymore. I'm glad we didn't have to do that in the dark, guys. Yeah. For real. I'm luckily we I'm lucky we were both in a position we could get here and get here now. Well, my my nerves are Oh yeah. I, I was no no help to you whatsoever. I appreciate it. No, you're you're fine. That's Man, what we're here for. This is He is this, beautiful. This, he is a beautiful butt. This is uh uh Zeus for sure. I mean he man. he's He's a beautiful butt. All right, so walk us through well, through what happened. Well, well, here's what happened. I came out here uh, the first week of November bow hunting and had an encounter with the number two, the big eight. Uh, he was the one I was going for today. And number one steps out, I mean, out of nowhere. And uh, I've had some bad luck on a few of these hunts with dogs coming in. And I just did not want uh, this shot to get spoiled by any of those dogs. They came in on me first thing at first light this morning too. Um, so, so I rushed the shot just a little bit, which makes me made me. No, feel I mean you, you clearly didn't because that exit is perfect. I mean, the old 30-30. You can't beat old Ironsides. Ironsides, buddy. 
Wouldn't that? <laughs> Is that your dad's gun? No, I bought that for. Well, I bought that when Hinton started getting into U season. I don't know though, Matt. What do you think about this guy? What? I'm. I'm. I'm just speechless. Yeah, I. I would be. I'd be. I'd be crying right now. Thank you, Lord. He's like perfectly oh. symmetrical. Oh man, oh. he is beautiful. Beautiful animal. Well, I think that's going to conclude this episode. But I'll tell you what, the story's not over. I just, I just gotta reel it in for a second because I'm Friday, about, bud. About to you earned it. Out. Thanks, guys. Here we are, racing the home stretch. Yeah, I'll grab her. All right. Come on, little lady. Well, I didn't want you to miss it. And I was freaking out at that time. I was like, freaking, freaking, freaking out. Did you tell Grandma? Yeah. What'd she say? Well, told her, give us a little bit of time. We'll bring it back up there to her. That's him, dude. Is that loose? Yep. Sure is pretty. Did you know he had double drop, double drop time? Would have. Here and there. It's definitely not that eight, not the big eight. He's a lot bigger than that other one. He's, He's a big, big bodied sucker. It's a big buck, dude. Lots of eating there. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I thought they left you down there in the woods. <laughs> well, I was taking care of them over here. <laughs> Getting all cut up. Ooh, we got a lot of work ahead of us tonight. Big time. Hey guys, Justin here, back at you, Ozark Mountain Outdoor Adventures. We successfully recovered the Buck Allen shot, got his doe, I got mine drug, and wow, four deer in one day, that is phenomenal for the three of us, and you know, the season's not over yet, hopefully we can get some more coming at you, and we're just going to keep bringing it to you. We're, in, we're taking these things to the skin and shed. We got a long night ahead of us. All right, Justin is up there. Alan is right there. The bed of my truck is full of deer. I got a doe hanging at the house. We've got Justin's button buck in here, Alan's eight point buck in here, and Alan's doe in here. So we got bow oh, deer to skin and quarter tonight. It's going to be a busy, busy night. But we had a very good day in the woods, and the video is going to be awesome. All this back and forth action that's happening. So uh, we'll see you back at the shed. She's mature. That ain't no baby. <laughs> <laughs> Backyard buck, huh? That's not a buck. Killed one of your PJs. <laughs> <laughs> Reach down there and get a hold of it. Come on. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is the part where she draws the line. <laughs> For real, this is a big deal right here. Yeah, just kind of pick it up by the ears. Oh my god. Hey, this is your first Man, that's a decent sized doe, man. Yeah. That's a real good Where'd doe. Where'd you hit her? She was facing me, I think. I don't know. Come here. Oh. Yeah, you shot her in the neck right there. Oh my gosh. Come out. No track job required. <laughs> Boy, you should...